Fires of the coal melting the skin. Years after Islam was established within the world and there was peace within the Muslim world, Caliph Umar anhu at the time was talking to the brave Khabab radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Khabab radiallahu ta'ala anhu was either the fifth or sixth person to become a Muslim. But at that time, he was a slave. In the very beginning, it was very hard for the slaves when they became Muslims because of their evil Quraysh masters. And for Khabab radiallahu ta'ala anhu, his master was an evil woman. Caliph Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu knew that Khabab radiallahu ta'ala anhu's master was an evil woman who would hurt him in terrible ways and wanted to know what really happened to him during that time. Khabab radiallahu ta'ala anhu removed the clothes of his upper body and said, Look at my waist. Seeing his waist, Caliph Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu was so shocked if he got up and said out loud, I have never seen a waist like this anywhere. That's when Khabab radiallahu ta'ala anhu explained that when he first became Muslim, the evil woman who owned him used to make him lay out naked in the burning sun on the hot desert sand. And because of that, his waist was completely melted. But that wasn't even the worst part. Khabab radiallahu ta'ala anhu said that she would drag me and put me on top of the burning coal and pressed me down. And with my body, my blood and fat would be used to cool down the fires of the coal. But even that was not enough for her. So, for fun, she would sometimes take super hot iron and then used to make marks on his head. This story shows us that even after all of Khabab radiallahu ta'ala anhu's pain, he never once felt sorry or regretted it because of his strong iman. He accepted the pain of his sufferings. Over the years, Khabab radiallahu ta'ala anhu saw the power of Islam grow and how the victory for the Muslims became even greater. But still, sometimes he would cry because he did not want anything in return for his sufferings. Instead, all he wanted was to please his creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In return, the most loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewarded him and gave him really high honor amongst the Sahaba. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our Iman as strong as Khabab radiallahu ta'ala anhu and accept Islam as our only way of life. Ameen. This was the end of our story today. Make sure to like this video, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel so that you and many more people can be reminded how we can become better Muslims and make our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, happy. And until next time, Assalamu alaikum. Join us in this great da'wah work and get countless of rewards during the month of Ramadan by giving a one-time donation or becoming a monthly supporter. And inshallah, Allah will give you the highest reward to you and your family in this world and the hereafter. Zazakallah, and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that all of you are safe during this time. And until next time, Assalamu alaikum.